What's going on, guys? Welcome to Lil's Pressure Washer. My name is Barry. This is Sadie, the wash pit. Look at her new uniform. Lil's Pressure Washer and Wash Dog. We're out here tonight. It is a very dirty gas station. Let me show you right here. It's double sided on here and over there. It's really, really dirty. We got the water hooked up. Um, tomorrow, we're going to, it's a, it's a little after midnight right now. We're going to try to get home. We got to go a big day tomorrow. We got, you know, tomorrow's election day. We got to get to the radio station. We got some interviews to do there with some people. We're going to be hiring. Um, we got some quotes and bids to do. We're going to go get the truck, uh, go get the, the wrap started for the truck. There's so much going on. Just ordered the uniforms two nights ago. We paid for them a, a couple months ago when we were, or a month ago when we were in Houston dinner with Heath Phelps, uh, Texas pressure washer, wash shield. We went ahead and bought them while we were down there um, from 72R, and now we just finally got the prints done. So that's on the way. Just busy, busy, busy. And uh, so, yeah, guys, I know you guys have been asking me about the sodium hydroxide. I'm going to call them tomorrow as well and see when we can get a paddle of that in so I can start taking care of you guys. I know you guys need it and want it, so I'm definitely working on getting some pallets. Um, uh, I'm in talks with the, the manufacturers. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, we got the diesel burner behind us. We got the hot water with the Comet P40. And... Uh, I need to go and get this strap down. I need to get some bolts to strap this down. Start working on this sometime. It's just a matter of time, guys. So many things to do. Today, we're working on our farm. I moved my goats from one part to another pasture. And then we're going to move the female goats, the boy goats we moved today. There's just always something to do. We got to put some security lights up because the possum's messing with my chickens. My chickens are getting on my back porch. It's just, I tell you, we own 16 acres. And I tell you what, it keeps us busy. We sold two other acres we had um, across the state line, but we got another house in Tennessee. <laughs> as soon as we get some time, we're gonna start renovating that and either rent it out or sell it. I don't know, I may sell it because I'm trying to do some real estate investing on commercial. Um, as soon as the market, like probably in uh, the mid to uh, late next year, I think I'm gonna see what the market's gonna do. But enough of that jibber jabber. You're here to see pressure washing. So let's get the pressure washing. We're gonna get our sodium hydroxide laid down and uh, put a little bit of Dawn in there. People over profits, let's go. All right, guys, we got our wet floor signs up. Let me so go over something with you guys real quick, all right? You see this right here? This is grease. Um, if you're ever cleaning gas stations or restaurants and it's black, it's usually grease. When you get soap and water on that, it can get very slippery, right? But if you pour soap and water on the ground, it won't be slippery, right? I mean, to a certain extent. But on grease, if water, anything wet hits it, it becomes very slick. So be careful and always put your signs up there when you're doing these. And try to block them off if at all possible and do and take your time with it. Just want to share that with you. That, the black stuff at the doors, at the back doors of restaurants, going to the dumpster, that stuff gets super slick. Not this, this is fuel and oil, but that stuff right there, particularly at the door and at the Turn dumpster. To the own position. We're going to hold the glow plugs down until that gets red in there. You'll see it slowly start to get red. There it goes. There it goes. We're going to hold it down and pop about 10 seconds. And we're going to start her up. Come on, baby. Guys, I'm gonna show you what others probably won't show you. Um, I'm very transparent on this uh, channel. So we rolled everything out. We put our chemicals down. We're gonna start surface cleaning. And look, I, I get I get everything fired up over here. I rolled it back up now, but I'm about to show you why. I got everything fired up over here, ready to rock and roll. And look, look, look at this. The bar is missing on my surface cleaner. I just used it the other day. But the bar's missing. I don't know how, how that happened. I don't even know, man. But I can't surface clean now. But I do have to clean that canopy. That thing is nasty. I mean, gosh, there's bugs everywhere. Look at that. Sorry about that glare. I'm going to get that fixed, guys. We're going to go to the phone maybe tomorrow. But, yeah, so there is work to do. I was going to do that anyway. I was just not going to be able to do the grounds now. So we're going to get the canopies both sides knocked out and around the building. But uh, yeah, man, I'm hoping I can find that land in my yard or something. If not, I'll just order another from Whisper Wash. Uh, you win some, you lose some. We're gonna go ahead and 
You want to make sure to hit where the bugs are on the rails. They usually gather around the rails like this. See, watch this. See right here? Right there. That's all bugs. You kind of give it a shake. Give it a shake. And that's how you get it off. See that right here? Give it a little shake. Nope. And when we're doing walls like this, I do a fan pattern, right? Let me show you. See right here? See these bugs? We do a fan pattern like this and we go, see? Look at all that. Bugs and dirt. Because if you do like this, you're going to not paint up the wall. And it, you actually are more productive by opening it up and doing a fan, a fan pattern like this. See all that I'm getting off? That's the beauty of the blue and red gun by General Puff. I do sell these, by the way, if you need one, hit me up. Works great with the soft wash systems we sell, which, which uh, we got the Hondas GX 200s, AR45 or a Comet, your choice, only 1550 bucks. So let me know, you know, this is perfect for doing right here. You definitely will can make your money back super fast on these machines. And go, this is like almost $11 a minute throwing it up there. And it's pretty much what I just look. Look, that's, 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 you're not going to get that from a 12 volt, man. 12 volts are good, they have the purpose. But uh, yeah, this right here for commercial, you can fly through it. So yeah, that's what I recommend is using the red or the blue. I actually like the blue better than the red. I got a red and blue, and I use my blue and more. It's kind of held up more than my red. But see, I'll open it up. Guys, nice. I didn't use a pressure washer at all. And this sodium hydroxide, remember this was. Remember this was black. It got all this up, man. Just from setting, cause my pressure washer was, my surface cleaner was broke. So I packed up, before I realized that, I poured the chemical down. And then I come back now, it's got me doing the canopy up there. And I come back down here. And basically the chemicals cleaned it by itself. Look, look how clean that is guys. This was black a while ago. I didn't touch it with a brush or pressure washer at all. I'm gonna have the sodium hydroxide. I'm getting bags of it. It's gonna be for sale, 100, uh, 50 pound bags. I'm gonna let the price in, uh, let you guys know as soon as I get it from the manufacturer. Sodium hydroxide, I will have it. It'll be on my website. Uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions. Little pressure washing service at Gmail. And uh, yeah, guys, just let me know. I'm gonna try to have everything that I use so I can help you guys out. But this did a great job. Look how good this did, guys. Without a brush or a pressure washer, just setting it on there and letting it do its job. Guys, we finished. We got it looking amazing. You ready? One, two, three. Look at that. <laughs> That's what you call perfection, man. I got the pump. I got all that diesel up without a pressure washer. 
I got all that. Let's go and take a walk. So I got this whole side of the store. I got all the sides of the canopy. I got all this. I got underneath, I got all them spider webs up there. It's kind of my OCD kicking in. I, want, I don't never leave anything behind, man. But here, look, all this, this side too, look. Looks amazing, it looks amazing, it looks amazing. Now, it's time to go to the house. We got a big day tomorrow. First, we're gonna get some Waffle House. So, me and Sadie gonna get some uh, eggs and grits and or maybe some hash browns, I don't know. But uh, make sure you hit that like button. We're gonna go to Waffle House. I'll see you in a second, let's go. What's going on guys, Lil's Pressure Washing here. As you can see right here behind me, let me see. I'm at my favorite spot to eat. We're about to get the night started. So I had to get me my normal, my eight ounce filet, broccoli and cheese, one roll and brown rice. So yeah, we're, we're doing the healthy two glasses of water. So, I mean, it's a slow transition. I probably could have done without the rice, but nonetheless, it's better than McDonald's what I've been doing every day. You guys know when you work like this every night, you know, you, you're living through drive throughs and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to start packing my lunch, get my wife to get some healthy stuff. But when I'm out, i got to make better decisions. It all smarts with, it starts with small choices. You know, small steps make big changes. So tonight, we got a big commercial job, a couple big commercial jobs. We're going to do some gas stations tomorrow. We got some quotes. Uh, that children's museum we volunteered for, we're going to go back and do some more work for them. We got some other quotes to do, some a fence a quote, another house quote. And then another house to do. We're just, we're booked. Praise God, we're booked. All glory to God. Um, and I want to I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for all the support with the Nissan, the Titan issue going on with um, Newton, Buick, GMC, Chevrolet, and Shelbyville, Tennessee. Um, I'm hoping to get some resolution. I hope they fix the issue and don't start passing the buck like between one dealership, a Newton, Nissan, a Newton, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Benton Nissan in Columbia back and forth. I don't want none of that nonsense. We, I just want to get resolution. I'm the consumer. I'm the one that was done wrong. I just want what I thought I was paying for. You know, you intentionally, they intentionally misled me. I would have never bought that for 43,000 bucks without a warranty, never in a million years, nobody would. And that's why they replaced the warrant, the engine. And also Nissan said today, they would give me another engine, replace it, if we can get the emissions back. And they quoted me like $28,000 to put the emissions back on. They said to put this truck back to stock is the only way Nissan would honor and do another Cummins. It'd be the third diesel engine under 100,000 miles. And I asked, well, how much that was? They sent me a quote for like $28,000. I had two catalytic converters. They said they were $9,000 a piece, guys. So yeah, that that's what Benton Nissan's telling me. Newton, uh, GMC Butte, they're the ones that sold me this the way it is. So they're, they're saying they're going to take care of me, get it back to stock, get an engine in. We'll see if that happens. If that happens, I'll be the first to come on here and drop a good video, guys. So I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop and I appreciate all your support, man. You guys have been super supportive. And like I said, we're a big family over here and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You know, that's the only reason I bought this. I had to put my, you know, come out of pocket for this because of that issue. But you guys are amazing. Once again, I don't want to keep rambling on, but thank you for the support. It's been really mentally draining on me and my family. Um, but we're, gonna, we're not going to think about it right now. We've been dealing with it all day, talking to the EPA, the Better Business Bureau, Nissan, everybody. There's a lot of people involved now. We're going to get some resolution one way or the other, you know, if it's hopefully resolved without going to court, but we're ready if we got a court. Whatever happens has to happen, you know, in court or out of court. We're ready. We're ready because this is not right. It's not fair. I'm getting frustrated, so I'm going to calm down, get back to what I'm saying. God's got this. God is in control. So we're going to get back to work. Um, we're going to stop at the first gas station get doing. Make sure you hit that like button. Let's go. You guys behind me, this is what we're going to be doing. I think there's 12 pumps here. It's pretty bad. We're going to be hitting all this up. We got our chemicals already mixed over here. We have the diesel hot water trailer with the P40 with us tonight so we can hit any grease, bad areas. 
Um, I didn't drop a video yesterday, so I'm gonna drop yesterday's last night's work with this video. So um, I will put it between this one and the next gas station. The very next clip will be last night. So I appreciate you guys for all the support and all the growth. We're growing so fast over here and it's all organic. That's awesome. So guys, keep hitting that like button. Let's go. All right guys, we got the hot water going. We got the hot water going. All right, guys, we got all this cleaned right here. The diesel, we used sodium hydroxide. We used two five gallon buckets, actually, three five gallon buckets to do this entire lot, which is 12, 12 pumps. We got it looking good. We're on to the next one, guys. Hit that like button. Let's go. All right, guys, we are at the last location of the night. Um, we're only gonna do two tonight because I wanna get some rest. And this is really bad. So we're gonna mix our, we got 12 pumps again. We're gonna mix our sodium hydroxide up. And our Dawn, we're gonna probably use two to three buckets. Hot water, our Black Whisper Wash Classic, our Kubota Diesel with the Uter eight gallon minute pump. And we're gonna go to town. Make sure you hit that like button. And as always, people over profits. Let's go. Guys, I can't brag enough about the hot water. Look how good that hot water is working. Cutting through it like it ain't nobody's business. Hit that like button. As you can see behind me, we got it looking superb. We got it looking good. We're gonna get up out of here now. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. I'm gonna drop this video and yesterday's video all in one video. And I appreciate the support on the Nissan Titan, guys. Um, we're, let's hope that Newton Motor Group, Buick Chevrolet, Newton Buick GMC Chevrolet in Shelbyville, Tennessee, actually takes care of it. Um, I spoke to them today. They said they're gonna get me a new motor and they're gonna get it back stock so we'll see let's hope so okay we'll give them a chance to make it right and uh we'll see from there but anyway guys this looks amazing hit that like button make sure you subscribe notification bell smashed smack 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 that like button salute people over profits let's go